Hi everyone, this is Masterpiece Convoy back with my review on the Transformers Generations Voyager Class Printer Part 2. The first thing that you're probably asking yourself is, hey, Masterpiece Convoy, where are the propellers for Springer and Helicopter Mode? Well, that's where the sword comes into play, because you see, the sword is the propellers for Springer and Helicopter Mode. Now, to transform the sword into its propeller mode, all you need to do is just split the two halves of the sword, which tabs in with the inner teeth and a tab and a post. Fold down the two halves. Flip the green piece up, and you're done. It spins freely. And when you transform it back into sword mode, the green piece has a post right here that will tab in with any of the eight tabs that are around the hilt of the sword. So that locks the spinning part up so it cannot spin at all, which is a cool gimmick to have. The last thing that you just need to do is plug it in on Springer and you can have fun spinning it since it's in flying pose. Also, he has landing gears which you can fold down. So let's take a closer look at the IDW's helicopter mode for Springer where he was based on from the IDW's comic book that he was in and again it just looks amazing all around especially with it being another updated G1 Springer in his helicopter mode. Plus. There is still storage for the gun in helicopter mode. All you need to do is just fold the front landing gear back up. And when you come underneath the gun, you'll see right here that there are these clips here. And there is a notch cut out underneath the landing gear. So you just take it. Clip it on, which can be tricky to do because you're trying to line everything up. But once you line it up right, it clips on secure. Plus the gun still serves as a landing gear in helicopter mode. Also, you can still fire the missiles in helicopter mode. Another thing that you can do is add extra weapons to Springer in helicopter mode. Plus, you can plug Doomlock's gun into the green port here, since the port looks a lot like a Minicon port. As well as an actual Minicon toy can plug into the green port that's on top of the propellers.
Now for comparison, here he is next to the other Transformers Generation Springer that was a repaint, slightly retool of the Tomahawk mold that was used in the hunt for the Decepticons toy line and obviously two different helicopter designs. For starters, one is a milita military type helicopter while the other one is a regular type helicopter. So the ultimate question is, which Springer pulls off helicopter mode better? Well here's the thing, the Deluxe Class Transformers Generation Springer is just using the Tomahawk mold while the Voyager 1 has its own mold. In other words, the Voyager Class Springer pulls off helicopter mode way better than the Deluxe one because the Voyager Class Springer feels a lot like a G1 helicopter Springer, whereas my brother's Deluxe Class Springer does not have that G1 helicopter Springer feeling at all. But yeah, all in all, I give Springer's helicopter mode an outstanding 10 out of 10 because it's another perfect, well done, updated G1 Springer in his helicopter mode. Well, that's it for my review on the Transformers Generations Voyager Class Springer Part 2. This is Master Beast Convoy signing off.